Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Although, by all accounts, these energies are intense, and they're intense for everyone. I'm not immune to it. I'm a part of this. I'm also a teacher. So the first thing I want to let you know about these energies is the crunch is on. Now, we have several things all coming up, and a lot of people have been looking to the astrological events, such as the moons and the retrogrades. Be why? Because you're feeling it. Naturally, you're feeling it. Why can you feel it? Because of your body. That happens to be what I teach about. Now, that being said, what actually is going on, and a lot of you wished for it, prayed for it, is the divine intervention to get this done. Well, that divine intervention is squeezing you like a tube of toothpaste, and yeah, you're being crunched, so is your twin. This is not a one-way street, even though for a lot of you, you've been feeling that this is only one-sided. It is most definitely not. However, people have developed different coping skills, different avoidance methods, ways to you know, not see or not feel what's been happening. The key difference is now with your calluses and hardnesses and walls coming down, yeah, you can feel again. Are you feeling where your energy leakages are? Are you feeling where you're getting drained? Some of you probably should be feeling that by now. So what I want to let you know is get yourself familiar with being new. And a lot of it does have to do with your body. Nobody likes discomfort. Nobody likes pain. Even people that have had pain or might think that they like it usually have had backgrounds of abuse. And if it hasn't been abuse in this life, it's been abuse in another life. And they usually will have some type of emotional pain that they try to express physically. They want to get hurt. They want to get abused. They want to cut themselves. They want to pick fights with people. Why? Because then this will justify the pain. It actually actualizes the pain and puts it into a physical, real context instead of something abstract where someone is telling you, oh, you're crazy, that shouldn't be painful for you. Expect your ascension symptoms. They're going to continue. Ascension symptoms go fast. Whatever you're releasing and purging, detox goes slow. And you have to allow your human body the linear time it needs. A lot of you are becoming accustomed to quantum leaps forward with things. But linear time is still an aspect of you. Why? Because you're literally transiting between worlds here. You're leaving the old world behind. And I remind all of you, you already are a twin flame. What does that mean? That means that you're all things. You have a multidimensional sparkling personality. Now, if you're a twin flame and you're talking to someone who doesn't acknowledge that you are a multidimensional being, you're doing yourself a disservice. That I talk about right on my website. When I do readings for people, I'm not reading the mind. And some of you have actually, in order to find out what some of this is, talk to people who are reading the mind. And that only goes so far for you. Okay, it might get you some answers. It's not going to give you the scope of what's happening here. And you may feel like you don't really have the scope. So if this is new for you, if you're actually just finding out what some of this is, please pay attention. Please try some of the things that I have here because this isn't just a news report about a cosmic wind blew into town or solar flares are happening, although those will continue to happen. And yes, it will affect communications. Yes, it will affect electronics. Here's something to be aware of, though. You also can affect electronics and communications, okay, as you keep getting upgraded. Now, you already are a twin flame. These are parts of your ascension symptom, and it's definitely part of being new. Why are you becoming new? Because this is an evolution that we not only expected, but we planned for it very carefully.
This is the harvesting. So even though I'm in the northern hemisphere and it's mid-July and this is sort of harvest time here, it's the harvest of some of the sweetest and juiciest, heartiest, but very short-lived fruits. Cherries, berries, melons. They have a short season, then they start going bad or they start becoming alcoholic. What is about the similarities there? Whoops. So some of you, if you are feeling some of this and you feel like I can't handle it, I'm going to retreat back into soulmate landia. We'll see you when you get there because maybe your fruit is not ripe yet. Maybe you need to still ripen and mature. If, however, you've been feeling this for a while, yeah, it's about to get sweet and juicy for you, even amongst the ascension symptoms. Why? Because the inherent part of who you really are is coming forward. You're no longer simply human. And a lot of people attribute human things to the things that are actually angelic, the spirit, the um, depth of the psyche, and people will say like, oh, the will of the human spirit. It's actually the will of the angelics. But you are a blend. You are a, twin flames are a blend. You are a human angelic. You have human parts. You have a human bo carbon-based body. You also have your light body. You are sensitive. You are empaths. You are psychic. You are warriors. You are fighters. You are spiritual. You're highly sensitive persons. Sometimes you're overly sensitive. Why? Because you can feel everything. Why? Maybe you didn't learn how to ground. But I will tell you, a part of being new is new grounding. You, are, you also have people that are narcissistic. Now, people that are narcissists, this is what I'm talking about, the scope here. And this is what makes a difference between what I do and sometimes what others are not yet able to do. Okay, no criticism there. It's just I'm very expanded. When I do a reading for people, I feel their multidimensionality. I feel where things are at. I feel past lives. I feel traumas, things that have happened, things on people's bodies. I started out by doing body work, which gives me the additional information about false energies, aches, pains, pokes, the source of it, and furthermore, what I'm able to do as a Blu-ray is to transmute that and release it. Now, a lot of people don't like when things get released, but you should actually count that as a blessing in disguise when all this stuff is getting released from you. The solstice was your opportunity to disentangle. If you go and re-engage with people, that's on you. But universally, it was the beginning of the end of being tangled up with the same people, the same people you gave birth to, the same people that you rode in here with, the same people you incarnated with. That's what some of this was. You are all things. You are the air, water, fire, and the land, which includes the elemental realms of any place you've ever lived. What does that mean? That means your cosmic home, such as other planets, some of you do feel that. You'll say, I have a strong connection to Arcturus or Antares or Betelgeuse or Lyra or Aldebaran or Sirius, the Pallades. Yes, everything's come here. Why? Because Earth is the new central sun of the fifth dimension. So all base things will leave you and they're going to continue leaving. They will continue and continue and continue until it's scraped out. So that's why you feel like you're scraping the bottom of the barrel and why you're being crunched, squeezed, scraped, poked, pushed, prodded, propelled, compelled. And there's a reason. The reason is being new. Being new. Now, some of you are having things going on with your heart back, your lungs, your circulatory system, your lymph. And I do have things to help you with that. I have a webinar. I haven't talked about this one much. It is called the Human Body in Transition. Now, I frequently promoted my light body in transition. This is about your human body in transition, and it's time for it. I present these things because even though I went through it, 
for example, two years ago or three years ago, or actually in different parts of my life. You may have two in different parts of your life. And you sort of plateaued out. You hit a level and you're comfortable with it. You're sensitive. You're psychic. You're comfortable. You're empathic, okay? But now the push is on again. Or you're a fighter. You're a spiritual warrior, okay? That's going to one time be a paradox. A contradictions in terms are what we call an oxymoron. Where being spiritual and being a fighter or warrior are actually not going to go hand in hand anymore. You won't have to fight for causes. You are your first cause. So the human body in transition does address lungs, back, circulatory, heart, back, and several other key areas of your body. Why? Because you're going to be together with your twin flame. That's the whole purpose of being born here, to be together with your twin flame. What's that? You talked to your twin and said, they said they didn't want to be with you. They told you off. Well, why have a conversation about it? Why don't you get busy with the way from the inside? It's time for the inside work. Okay, the very, very teeny tiny parts of you, your circulatory system, your back, your central nervous system. And yes, how would you get home to the fifth dimension? You've lived once as ascended beings. How do you get back there? Universally free to fly, where I talk about the going up to the new earth, down and in, and this is where some of you who have been very much the empath and sensitive and psychic, you're trying to do things in a certain realm. But what you're going to find is that it, you struggle to bring your energies down and into your body. You're very floaty, you're very airy, and your twin might be very earthy. So you might have the air and the fire, and they have the water and the earth, and you still need to integrate with each other. So this is about the down and in and the integration. This is also the physical embodiment and your abilities to fly. So I have light codes in both of these activations, as well as supportive exercises that you can and should do for your physical body to feel comfort with the ascension symptoms. Uh, this one has about six. This is also, a lot of you are finding this out. In order to be new, you are releasing the mental emotional, which is more than the ego. The ego is a very small part of your true essence. You're actually releasing mental, emotional, all types of things. Okay? Like I'll give you, for example, I, I once said this example. There were people that uh, believed that um, the earth is flat. And there's still people around that believe it. Okay? And what is that? I mean, I'm not here to prove it or disprove it. What I'm saying is these are mental, emotional things that stay stuck in there. As you might notice, uh, another example with astrology. Astrology is evolving too. Why? To encompass more of your cosmic energies and connections. There are astrologers taking more notice of what's out there. Okay, I do also. A lot of you have lived, or more specifically, your masculine has been connected to some of the areas where the mental emotional is very intense. Uranus, Pluto, and it gets weird. It just gets weird. It's very weird mental stuff. It's paranoia. It is fighting energy. It's conflict. It's weaponry. It is uh, scheming, conniving, manipulative. Yes, it is. That's the shadowy parts of some of this. And yet, that belongs to you. That's a part of you, too. And you might say, oh, no, that's not me. It could have been you in another life, and you're drawing yourself in here. So in order to integrate and release the mental, emotional of what's been attached to you in other lives, check it out. Universally free to fly. You do have some couples that are at sort of a, difference that they're continuing to collapse 
And you might have a couple that every time they get together, she gets very sensitive and she starts crying. She's like, there you are. I haven't seen you in so long. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I didn't really go anywhere. I've just been busy. I, you know, I, I, I sometimes I think I can think, hear you thinking. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy about that. No, no, I love you. I love you. I, I just, I, I don't understand. Oh my gosh. Why can't you, why do you always have to cry? Are you going to cry again? You're going to cry. And then he starts to get cold and the wall goes up. And then next thing she's like, you're just inaccessible. I don't know why you don't feel things. I don't know why she thinks I don't feel. I was feeling her until she started losing it. I don't get it. I can't feel him anymore. As soon as I saw him, it's just, terrible like it, it, it's like the walls go up and he withdraws from me and what are they actually doing the mental energies actually repel each other away her masculine will defend and his feminine will defend and next thing you know they've got an impasse what we want them to do is come together and say hi hi gosh it's been so long since i've seen you i couldn't stop thinking about you and I think you were thinking about me too. Oh my goodness, he's being open and honest and direct. It felt that way. Yes, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm feeling very emotional. It's okay. It's okay. I feel it too. I can feel you. It's, but why? Why? Take my hand. What is it? It's been so long since we've been nice to each other. I just, I just don't, oh, oh, I'm so happy you're here. And open and honest and direct is what they're finally able to be. Why? Because they've been working at it on the inside to stop the cold behaviors, to get all of the stuff down and out, to clear heart, back, lungs, circulatory system so they can feel or you have another couple here and you have this couple and she's got a whole box of psychic defenses. She's got everything. She's got all kinds of stuff for psychic defense and she can make fireballs too. And him, well, he's a warrior. He handles things in a very earthly manner and they see each other and she says, you know, you just need to protect yourself from people. That's how their energies are getting to you. And then you want to go, you know, protect and defend and run off. You have to do it my way. And he's saying, but that's part of what I do. I am a protector. I am a guardian. That's how I feel my energies. I am a keeper of the flame. I am the one who is here to ensure that love is able to be here. I'm the one that witnesses things and I get it gone. And I've got all kinds of ways to do that. But you're wearing armor. You're always wearing armor. But you're always doing some hocus pocus. I, I don't get it. But my way works. But my way works. Don't you understand how many people I've been able to get away from us and intimidate? But, it, but it's not right. Yes, but neither is some of the stuff that you're doing. You know, in another place and time, People would have called you a witch. Well, you say witch like that's a bad thing. Oh, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, you know, people won't understand. Well, I don't care if they understand. That's the right way to do it. That's my way. And then, you know, I don't care. Well, I had a dream the other day and people were coming for you and going to hurt you. And I wanted to fight them. And what do you have here? They feel each other, but this is all old paradigm stuff. He's the spiritual warrior. She's, you know, she's over here. And they're both very good at what once was. But what they need to find out is being new. And what they're not talking about is being in love with each other. They, they know it, but they're not moving it along. How do you move it along? universally free to fly with some of the beliefs some of the beliefs about you know how it works or what it is your body is new get used to being new so that's all i have today the links will be on my website and in the description below 
Thank you to everyone who has had a session with me. The sessions have been on fire. Yes, I do sessions. I do readings. I do causal body alignment. What's your causal body, you ask? Your causal body is how you cause things to happen. It's your manifester. It's your feeler and your manifester. And that's why, for a lot of twin flames, the law of attraction doesn't really work for you. Because you're in a transition out of the old and into the new. The things that you will manifest will be different than what you once thought you maybe wanted, too. So that is something else that I do. I do follow-ups. And I will come back with some more uh, live webinars, live groups in August. August is a big month. We've got two eclipses, one lunar eclipse, one solar eclipse, one really huge one. You're getting harvested. I encourage everyone, stick to the plan. Stick to your own true love story because you're not crazy as to why you met this person to begin with. If you're having trouble discerning, reach out to me and have a reading or a session because while you always need to know who it is, getting the proper discernment and feeling again, that is what I excel in. So that being said, have a wonderful weekend and week. Keep knowing that uh, this energy is going to feel like a grumpy old person in the car. Do you ever drive in a car with someone and they, they push the accelerator like this, like, and you're like, just get there already. Just get, just, oh my goodness. Just keep the accelerator at a steady pace. It's not going to. You're going to get pushed and put, you're going to get pushed and ease up and push and ease up. Find a comfort level with this because that is how it is going to be for a little bit. If you take a retreat, we'll see you when you get there because maybe it's not time for you to be harvested. But there are a lot of people who are. It's about a million and a half couples in the first wave. There's a first, second, and the third wave is getting prepared now. Those are some of the people that are just finding out what some of this is or just meeting the person or just re-encountering their childhood sweetheart. So thanks so much. Check it out. Human body in transition, universally free to fly. Two separate ones. They're both good and I highly recommend them. I get wonderful feedback on this. Enjoy your weekend and stick to your essentials. Bye now.